Here we have a simple project in Microsoft Project. In today's video, I'm going to create a risk register. And to show you that, I'll just move this over here a little bit. And watch over here. Okay, go to view. And I'm going to create a risk register. Now, I've already done this before, so it's going to show up in my list. But if you don't have it, I'll show you what to do. Again, here it is. I've already done this before. But if you don't have one, go to more tables, then new, call it risk register, and click OK after that. But since I already have one, tables, risk register. And if you notice here, a um, couple columns populated, picks one, two, three, four, and we have a little bit more here. So we, a couple of new columns were created. So let's go to text one, highlight it. And risk register is all about custom, custom fields. Okay, so custom fields. And I'm gonna call text one, I'm gonna rename it. And I'm gonna call it probability. Open parentheses, one through five. And close the parentheses. And I'm going to look up. If you noticed, probability one through five and probability one through five. So look up and I'm going to assign some values one, two, and description is low. And high. Lows. Okay, let's go on to text two and click OK. Let's go on to it. And if you notice, uh, probability one through five. And watch when I pull the drop down arrow. And we got low, medium, low, medium, medium, and high. Okay, we're going to do pretty much the same thing for text two. Highlight it. Custom fields because risk register is all about custom fields. And we want to call this impact. Open parentheses, one through five, and close the parentheses. And I want to do that uh, same thing. So go to lookup, sense of values. Description and high and close and okay. So so impact, and do the drop-down arrow, one through five. Now, text three, we're gonna multiply probability, whatever's in probability, times whatever is in an impact. And we'll get the results here. And to do that, we go to custom fields, rename, and I'm gonna call this risk level. Open parentheses, probability, times impact, open parentheses, one, five, and close the parentheses. Okay, but I wanna put a formula in there because I want to multiply probability times impact. So let's put a formula in there. Now you can type it out or what I prefer to do because if you do it this way, you're not gonna make as many mistakes. So go down to field, text, custom text, and we want probability, the one we just created, times, 
and you could do the asterisk on your keyboard, or you can do it right here. And field again, text, custom text, and times impact. And okay. It says that uh, the data in the existing field will be deleted. And if it the formula takes, we'll go straight. Okay, it did take, we went straight back to there. So, okay. Now we have errors right here. Don't be alarmed. It's because we don't have any data for probability or impact. As soon as I put some values into probability and impact, the risk level will populate with a number and the error will go and the error will go away. So let's go on to number four. And custom fields. And I want to call this risk severity. And okay. Okay, let's put a formula in there. And this can be a little more complicated formula, but we will be able to handle it. So go to formula and IIF and open parentheses. Now, those familiar with the if statement in Excel, this is basically this. So we want to if text, custom text, the risk level, text three, is greater than, and I'm going to pick 14, comma, space, open parentheses. If it's greater than 14, it will be high. Close parentheses, comma, space, IIF, open parentheses, field, text, custom text, and now if uh, the risk level, text three, is greater than five, space, and the word and, A-N-D. Now you can type it out or you can do it right here, and, and text, custom text, I'm gonna use text three again. Less than 14, because we've got greater than 14, now less than 14, comma, space, in quotes, because this text, I'll put a capital M, doesn't really matter though, comma, space, and low. And I have to capital L. Okay. If it's medium or high, okay. Now we get, if you look, I'll zoom in. Now, if you look at the formula here, oh, by the way, I will have this formula down in the description. So if you don't want to type it out, you can just copy and paste and put it in there. And, but, okay, so what we have, we have, we have a couple open bracket parentheses. So we got to close those. So close, close. And okay, now if I did the formula correctly, it will come up with a, um, it'll populate right into this box right here after I get the message of eliminating the data. Will be deleted all data and the formula worked right away. Okay, but if it didn't, if you didn't type it in correctly, I'll show you how to, how to troubleshoot and fix that. Go back to formula. And let's say you had a comma after the five and okay. And it says it contains a syntax error or it contains a reference. And I'll click OK. And it will actually show you where the error is, or in this case, right after the error. So let's get rid of the, the comma and OK. And we go straight here. That, that you know the form of the work done. So let's go OK. Oh, before we do that, let's put some graphical indicators in here. And it will come clear here in a second. So let's go equals. And we're going to have three graphical indicators. The values, we're going to put high, medium, and low. 
Now, here's the graphical, the image for high, we want a, a red frown face or whatever you want to call it. For medium, we want a neutral face. And we'll go green. And for low, we want a happy face. And let's go that color. So we've got three different colors and three different faces. And okay. And okay. So let's start putting some values in probability. Let's go medium low, impact, and we'll go medium and low. And it populates with a four, because it multiplies, because of our formula, multiple, multiplies probability times impact, and we get a, a low. So let's go a medium. Medium times a medium, a nine, which is a neutral, neutral face, and let's do a high. And we get a red face. How to do a risk assessment in Microsoft Project.